seen him in Norbit, the voodoo child, Deuce Bigelow, and the undercover brother. Give it up for the living legend of comedy, Mr. Eddie Griffin! What's happening, ATL? What's happening, ATL? If you hear the noise, it's probably this nigga right here. Let's get to this shit. What's happening? God damn it. Back in the ATL. Y'all looking good, damn it. Want to thank y'all for coming out and sharing this experience with a brother. You understand me? The show is called Freedom of Speech. You're going to hear a lot of that go on this evening. Because yeah. as you can tell, they've been fucking with me all year. You know what I'm saying? I've been on TV more than a nigga been in a movie this year. You know, I was on TV originally for wrecking a car. Now, I told them I couldn't drive from Jump Street. You know, we was doing this celebrity charity race, right? It's me, Wycliffe. Jackie Chan is the only Chinese motherfucker I know that can drive. Because that little motherfucker was getting, die, 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 die. And uh, uh, Lil Bow Wow and Jermaine Dupree. Now, Jermaine's short ass is doing like 20 miles an hour going around the track. I'm like, man, fuck this, nigga, give me the car. So the billionaire Daniel came over, he's like, Eddie, what car you want to drive? You know, this motherfucker rich, all them cars is his. He had Lamborghinis and shit and Ferraris. I said, I'll take that red one right there. He's like, well, that happens to be the most expensive car here. I said, well, excuse a nigga for having good taste. <laughs> Hand me the keys, motherfucker. So I get in that bitch, nigga. Now I go around the real track. They had made a track for us inside of it with all the little cones and shit. I said, fuck that, nigga, I'm in this bitch. I took that Enzo out on the real track, nigga. I'm tearing that bitch up, got up to 220. And the motherfucking billionaire on the side, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, and in the car, it looked like he was saying, go, let it go. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm getting down, the motherfucker got in the middle of the track. No, 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 driving track here, track here. I'm like, this little punk ass go kart shit. So I'm going around this motherfucker, I'm doing about 90. Somebody put the tightest turn on the track next to the little brick wall shit. <laughs> now I turned the car, car kept going straight. <laughs> Nigga hit brick wall, motherfucker did a 360 in that hooker. Bam! Nigga, I'm like, is nigga live? <laughs> now airbags work in that motherfucker. All three of them came out, blah, blah, blah. I thought it was an extra motherfucker in the car. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> Nigga, I ain't never had airbags deploy on me, nigga. Some powder shit come out of them. Look like smoke to me. I'm a real simple-minded man. Smoke must be fire. <laughs> nigga, I'm unhooking. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Soon as I get out, the camera's right there. You understand me? That's why I'm doing like this. Nigga, hold on. <laughs> nigga, gotta look good, because the news always want that fucked up shot of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eddie Griffin work hard. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, I'm doing my shit, and this reporter gonna ask me, so, Eddie, what do you think about it? I said, well, undercover brother can do karate, tell jokes, can't drive. <laughs> so here come the paramedics. They're like, oh, yes, would you come with us? We need to take you and put you in the ambulance. So I get in the ambulance. Now, I know you white people in here saying ambulance, but we black, we say ambulance. <laughs> so I'm in the ambulance, and they put the little heart monitor shit on me. Nigga, my heart was 220, about as fast as I was going, <laughs> over 190 something. And the paramedic's like, would you like to go to the hospital? I said, motherfucker, wouldn't your heart be racing after you ran into a brick motherfucking wall? He's like, well, you have a point there. I said, well, nigga, I'm gonna point myself in the right direction. Out your ambulance. I've been in the ambulance before. Y'all charge $400 for oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> and walked the fuck out and got me some cognac. Cause around that time, nigga need a drink. So I'm sitting there, you know, I'm feeling kind of fucked up about fucking up this motherfucker car. And little billionaire, he just walking back and forth. He said, yo, do you do me like you? I said, calm down, motherfucker. Wycliffe, the only brother that came over, he said, like, Eddie, I'm gonna tell you something. seen you hit the wall, car go in the air, flip around. Not a scratch on you. Angels travel with you now, fork the car. <laughs> so I raised my head back up, nigga. I'm like, yeah, nigga, fuck that car. They can make another motherfucking car, can't make another motherfucking Eddie Griffin. Then the next shit I'm on the news, man, I went down to Miami. You know, this is about Al Sharpton got on the news, you know, talking about Eddie said the N-word shit. Let me tell y'all the real story, because the news only gonna give you half of the shit. 
Nigga, I've flown down to Miami for the... <laughs> for the Black Enterprise uh, golf tennis extravaganza. Now, why they fly my ignorant black ass for some golf tennis extravaganza shit is beyond me to begin with. Because I don't play no motherfucking golf, nigga. I don't like the game. You got to hit a little motherfucking ball, then walk and go hit the motherfucker again. <laughs> Take too much goddamn time. Just pick the shit up, got it. <laughs> so I'm down there. Now, they told me I was there to present. Now, I don't know if you know what presenting is. You know, I get on stage and I say, and the next motherfucker is, good night. <laughs> oh, so I'm sitting there with Moore's Day, nigga. We by the ninth hole at the bar drinking and shit. So Moore's like, are you going to show out tonight? I said, Mars, hold on, nigga. I'm here to present, motherfucker. He's like, that ain't what the brochure said. <laughs> so I look at the brochure, man. They got me performing. So five minutes before I'm getting ready to go on to present, Earl Gray Jr. walks up to me. He's like, Eddie, the crowd here to see you, man. They want you to do your thing, bro. You understand me? Give them a show, bro. I said, excuse me, brother. Don't you get paid for selling your magazine? Well, I get paid for slanging jokes. You understand me? You ain't about to trick a free show out of niggas, so go find me some joke money. <laughs> and then jokes can be told. So they go have a huddle. Nigga come back, you know, they found my money. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, we can do show now. He's like, can you do me a favor, brother? Can you not say the N-word or MF? I said, nigga, you mean motherfucker? <laughs> Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm an artist, motherfucker. This is what I do. For 22 goddamn years, nigga. If you wanted Bill Cosby, no disrespect to Dr. Cosby's form of humor, but if you wanted Dr. Cosby, you should have hired him, nigga. This is Eddie Griffin. I say, nigga, I'm an artist. You wouldn't tell Picasso not to cut his motherfucking ear off. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like telling Prince, go on stage, but don't play the guitar, nigga. <laughs> so they go have another huddle. He come back, he's like, Ed, hey, you can do you. I said, brother, I'm gonna give you one more chance. I can give you this money back. I can go on and present because I see these bougie motherfuckers in the audience might not understand it. <laughs> he said, no, Ed, you can do you. I said, I'm gonna give you one more chance, nigga. <laughs> he said, no, Ed, you can do you. I said, all right, cool. Nigga, I go out on stage, I grab the mic, and them niggas back there tripping. <laughs> they gonna tell me not to say the N-word, that would be nigga. So I guess I have to say motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. And I said, I don't even know what the motherfucking trip is. OJ killed a white woman, walked. Kobe supposedly raped one, walked. Michael Vick killed a dog, the nigga going to jail. That's when they cut the mic off. So I dropped the mic, nigga, I said, and walk the fuck off. <laughs> so Earl Graves Jr. and them came over and apologized afterwards, you know, because I'm saying, man, this straight up and down was a black on black crime, motherfucker. You supposed to be fighting for my right to say whatever the fuck I want to say, nigga. <laughs> you understand me? I should call this motherfucker special, nigga, please. <laughs> so I'm sitting at home, man. Now, I'm used to watching Britney Spears get fucked with, you know, for sucking a dick and showing a pussy. <laughs> you know, Paris Hilton done sucked another dick in the club. You know, I'm like, all right, cool. Nigga. It's a trip when it's you. I'm sitting at the crib, all of a sudden, nigga, Eddie Griffin says N-word, mic's cut off. I said, nigga, what the fuck is this? The motherfuckers apologized. <laughs> then they had Al Sharpton and his daughter on, nigga. They wasn't even at the show. This is shit that pissed me off with brother Al. I, I know this motherfucker. When I'm in New York, he in the audience having a nigga good time. <laughs> <laughs> when he in LA, we at the Four Seasons tossing him back like a motherfucker. What's up, my nigga, you perm head hypocrite motherfucker? <laughs> you didn't fuck with the right one now, nigga. You not my leader, motherfucker. How you gonna lead me to a salon? I got one question for Al Sharpton, nigga. You a rebel, where's your church? Where is your church, nigga? <laughs> Let's get real real with it, nigga. Ain't you got more issues to deal with? Like nooses being hung all over the motherfucking place? The Genesis 6 jumping the fuck off? 
our right to vote being up next month if they don't pass the Bill of Rights in this motherfucker, but you wanna fuck with a comedian saying, nigga, nigga, fuck you. Oh, I should call the special, nigga, please. <laughs> fuck wrong with you crazy motherfuckers. Nigga, I am a nigga and proud to be that. You understand me? There's African Americans and there's niggas. Now, this nigga here, the best word I can give another black man is that's my nigga. It's a term of endearment that we use amongst ourselves. White people do not say it, you will get fucked up. <laughs> Cause they don't say nigga, they say nigger. See, it's that growling part, the er, sound like they growling, nigger. That shit sound like ropes and nooses and shit. <laughs> You understand me? But nigga is a term of endearment. When I say that's my nigga, that's ride or die. That means we do what the fuck we got to do, handle our business together, nigga. You understand me? It don't even sound right to say that's my African American. That's my black guy. No, that's my nigga. You understand me? White people got their word they call each other, redneck cracker. Ain't nobody telling Jeff Foxworthy's motherfucking ass to stop saying you a redneck if. They always concerned with what the fuck a nigga saying. <laughs> and if you want to get down to the real truth of it, the reason they want to get rid of the word nigga is because they can't say it without getting their ass whooped. <laughs> so finally they got something they can't say and they mad. They go, we can't say it, the niggas can't say it either. <laughs> Let's get Al Sharpton and Jesse and it has to start a movement to get rid of nigger. <laughs> if you get rid of nigger, you just got rid of me and a bunch of other black men in this motherfucking country. You understand me? And Al Sharpton and Earl Graves, with all respect to them two motherfuckers and what they do. But if I'm your youngster, nigga, and you my elder, you got an issue with me saying, nigga, nigga, sit down at the table with me and explain your case. But don't go to the media, jump on the motherfucking TV set like you gonna clown this man here, nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Cause for me, nigga stands for non-immigrants gaining, gathering, achieving. We the only people that didn't immigrate to this motherfucker. Somebody picked us the fuck up. <laughs> nigga, we was in Africa chilling like a motherfucker. Didn't nobody want to come over to this shit. Nigga, we in Africa, we had all the gold, all the diamonds, all the land. White people had all the Bibles. Now we got all the Bibles. White people got all the gold, all the diamonds, all the land. Somebody got game. <laughs> mm -hmm. As Brother Malcolm said, by any motherfucking means necessary, <laughs> that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> now, I'd like to take this time out to thank you, white people, for bringing us here to America. Shit started out fucked up, <laughs> but it's kind of good now. <laughs> you understand me? We own Atlanta. <laughs> This is the new chocolate city, nigga. You come down Atlanta, ain't nothing but chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. You know, I only see a few white people here. Look at it, they just like, well, you know, uh, used to be ours, Stone Mountain. <laughs> Those were the good old days. You could just hang a nigger, and now they own every fucking thing. <laughs> Hell, motherfucker, yeah. See, I ain't got no problem with white folks, you understand me? Because, you know, it's the sneaky white people I don't like. You know, I like rednecks myself, because rednecks are straight up down, honest in the motherfucker. Every time I do a show in the South, nigga, redneck come after the show. You's a funny nigger. <laughs> Them motherfuckers just straight up, you's a funny nigger. I'll be like, all right, cracker. Next thing you know, we sitting at the bar chilling, having a drink, talking shit. I don't like them sneaky white people. Well, you were, you know, you were okay. And then as soon as they walk away, nigger. Give me a redneck any day, cause niggas and rednecks, when we go to war, nigga, we handle our business. I'd rather have a redneck on the front line with me, nigga, if I gotta go somewhere, nigga, that redneck will be right there. What the hell we gonna do, boy? <laughs> uh, are you tell me what the hell's going on? <laughs> well, goddamn, this is urban warfare. You grew up in the hood. What block are they coming from? Cause you know a brother gonna be like, man, if I was over here, I'd be hiding in that motherfucker right over there, nigga. That's where them bitches is at, right over there, cuz. I'm telling you, cuz, they over there, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas in Iraq, sea walking, nigga. <laughs> 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 that redneck be like this, okay, here's what I want you to do. 
I want you to smoke them out with that wacky tobacco you call a blunt. Once he comes out of there, I'm gonna shoot him in the fucking head with a 30 out six. Goddamn right, I hunt back home. Cause I'm rednecks and hunting motherfuckers, boy. They can shit a fly off a of dead's head 500 yards. They ain't bullshit. <laughs> shit, I was still chilling with a redneck partner of mine a couple weeks ago. They got some nigga jokes for your ass. No, I ain't bullshitting. Them motherfuckers got some jokes. And you don't want to laugh, but the shit be funny in the motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker said, Eddie, I got a joke for you. Since you're the funny man. I said, well, go right ahead, Skeeter. <laughs> said, what do you call a nigger in a tree with a suit and a briefcase? I said, I don't know. Branch manager. I wanted to hit the motherfucker, but you gotta laugh. <laughs> he said, I ain't done yet, boy. I got another one. <laughs> What's the difference between a nigger and a snow tire? Snow tire don't sing when you put chains on it. <laughs> so after I got done whooping his ass, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I couldn't have lived back in slave days, man. I would not have survived. I'm a little too ignorant. <laughs> You understand know I me? Mean? Because they gave some fucked up choices back in the day. We're going to chop off your dick or your foot. If I was alive back then, I'd be in that long foot line. <laughs> you know, you're going to get that last use out there, motherfucker. Go on, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Fight out. Cause I can hobble over to some pussy. <laughs> Can't show up with two good feet and no dick. And as crazy as my black ass is, nigga, I'd have been a second offender. <laughs> and can't run fast with one of them, nigga. You can... Still gonna be fucking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. But don't worry, white people, y'all time coming. Well, go around, come around. You understand me? That's why they trying to fuck up the government right now, nigga, and leave this huge deficit because they know a nigga gonna win. <laughs> so they're like, well, it's gonna be a black president. Make sure everything's fucked up. <laughs> See if he can fix that. <laughs> And a nigga gonna fix it because we know how to do shit with no money. <laughs> Hell, motherfucker, yeah, shit. Yeah, white people, I can't wait till we get to whip y'all and change y'all name. It's gonna be a good ass day. Fire! What's your name? Steve! Because you know white people are fighting. What's your name? Steve! They get one of them big burly brothers. Black! Shaka! Shaka Zulu! Now get your ass out there and pick that cotton. Can I have some suntan lotion? God, it's hot out here. I'm peeling. White people couldn't have picked cotton for more than five minutes. Them motherfuckers be out there complaining. Where's my attorney? I'm suing. It's fucking bullshit, man. You fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Y'all take a good look at that white man. That cracker right there. Now, this motherfucker said that uh, sisters were some nappy head hoes. Now, what I didn't understand is why people got so upset about that, because this motherfucker been talking crazy shit forever. You understand me? And a couple of them sister shit was fucked up. <laughs> And the shit that cracked me up, the next day when they did the nude conference, all of them had a perm, <laughs> including the coach. I don't even know why they fired this motherfucker, because I knew he was going to get a job two weeks later. 
You understand me? Somebody already rehired that motherfucker, gave him a $20 million contract so he could talk that same bullshit. Now he got more fans, because now the next are like, God damn it, he's a hero. He took on the niggers. <laughs> he called them nappy head hoes. I'm tuning in every day. <laughs> like, I got freedom of speech. He got the freedom to say whatever the fuck he want to say. I don't listen to the punk motherfucker show no way. <laughs> Nigga, I wouldn't have fired his ass. I'd have said, take his check, pay the tuition to all them sisters. Yeah. You understand me? Take his sponsor's money, give that to the United Negro College Fund. Then I walked right into his motherfucking office and said, who's the nappy head hoe now? Because we pimping your ass, punk. Now get on the air and say nigga 17 times so I can get my check, bitch. <laughs> You know, the media is the problem. These motherfuckers right here, the TV media motherfuckers is the problem. How many of y'all think there's more black men in jail than in college? That's a motherfucking lie. There's more black men in college than there is in jail. About 200 to 300,000 more. But you'll never know with these tricky motherfuckers because all they show about us, a black man is fucked up. He's in jail. He robbed somebody. They're killing him. Nigga, tell me about George Bush. Nigga, I might have stole the Snickers. This motherfucker stole the country. <laughs> this retarded motherfucker. And nothing against retarded people, because them motherfuckers is smarter than this ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> you understand me? I can't wait till this punk motherfucker get the fuck up out the office. He got to go. <laughs> And I know a lot of motherfuckers scared to talk about this little midget son of a bitch, but I'm not fucking. You understand me? This motherfucker is straight from the gates of hell. He pulled off the biggest robbery in history, him and his cronies. <laughs> and I've been watching the debates and shit, nigga, trying to figure out, you know, who I'm gonna vote for and shit, you know? You know, man, I, I like Obama a little bit, but there's something slick about that nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he don't answer questions. He's like, what you think about taxes? I'm Obama. <laughs> What you think about housing? I'm Obama. <laughs> you slippery motherfucker. You understand me? Now, I like Hillary, because she already proved she's a ride and die bitch. <laughs> you understand me? Her husband getting his dick sucked in the over office, nigga. Everybody telling her, write a book, kill him. What the fuck? Put him on trial. She like, that's what he do. <laughs> Y'all didn't know? That pimp nigga do that shit. <laughs> I ain't worried about that bitch. She didn't get nothing but a mouthful of nut. That nigga coming home. <laughs> and you know Bill ain't nothing but a big pimp. That's my nigga if he get any bigger. That's the first president to move out the White House to Harlem. 126th Street. He like, fuck it. I know these white people want to kill me. I'm going to surround myself with nothing but niggas. <laughs> Y'all going to have to make it through these niggas here to get me. <laughs> and you know he pimping. He like Hillary. You gonna run for the Senate. I don't wanna be a senator. Bitch, what did I say? <laughs> mm -hmm. Then after that, you gonna run for the presidency. I don't wanna be the president. What did I say? <laughs> that nigga gonna fuck around, get back in the White House, getting his dick sucked again. <laughs> and this time, he'll be on camera. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I ain't the president. Talk to me what? Shit. Dick sucking is just a beautiful thing. I'd like to thank you, ladies. <laughs> Hell yeah, shit, because I, I used to jack off a lot. I mean, a lot of us did. You know, men in here, we start around age 12. You know, right when you're getting that first little tingle at the tip of your dick, you know, you touch it one time, and motherfuckers like, mm hmm. You're like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. Shit, that feel kind of good. <laughs> Wipe it down, that really feel good. Then you throw some lotion on your shit, nigga. That's really excellent. <laughs> then around 15, nigga, you start getting inspiration. You know, my moms didn't have like Playboy, Victoria's Secret, and all that shit, nigga. We had the Sears catalog. <laughs> so I go right to the panty section, nigga. <laughs> Sitting in the bathroom, nigga, I'm turning pages. You can get it. You can get it. Oh, yeah, bitch, you can get it too. <laughs> Nigga, have you ever been busted jacking off? <laughs> nigga, I'm sitting there jacking off, nigga. Mom's walked in the bathroom. I forgot to lock the motherfucking door. 
Nigga, and I'm going to town on this motherfucker. You know when you get that thumb action. The professionals know what I'm talking about. You gotta hit the helmet of that motherfucker right there with the thumb, nigga. Yeah, that's that shit. Uh -huh, yeah, right there, right there. I'm sitting there, nigga, and I'm talking, I'm going to town, nigga. You know when your eyes is curling up in your head, nigga. You can see what you're thinking, nigga, like, yeah. Nigga, the door open, nigga, I looked up, froze. Mom's like, boy, what you doing? Uh, 